I told y'all a bit about my story, but I left a part out. After I, after I lost. Yeah. I can't wait. I can't wait for this part. Yeah. So, when I was 27 and I lost my mind, I didn't have no marketable skill. Uh, you know, having a degree in theology doesn't really go far in the HR department. And so, I joined the military. And, um... Four years ago, I was on the other side of the world, participating in the most horrible thing on the face of the earth. And uh, I'd started writing songs when I when I started coming apart in the ministry. Uh, if you're an independent fundamental Baptist preacher, you got to be perfect, I and mean, you ain't no, nobody to talk to. So I started writing songs and painting pictures to. Uh, kind of get my soul out and put it on paper and put it on the paints and whatnot. And uh, so I started writing songs and painting pictures. And then uh, I joined the military and I went overseas. And when I went over there, I'd been writing songs and painting pictures for about five or six years. And I was scared to death to play my songs for anybody. I was scared to death to show anybody my pictures that I painted. And then, uh, so I was in the desert a few years ago. And I uh, told the Lord that if he'd let me come home, I'd start playing my songs. And uh, so about two and a half years ago, I played my first gig. And uh, now I'm here at the Blue Club. Yeah! fellow up here with a Smokey's hat on because I played with him in my very first gig and he came up to me after he said man you you're great man where do you play and I said well nowhere <laughs> he said why don't you come to Nashville and make a record so I made my first record a month after my first gig and then about a year passed and I made my second record with that same fellow over there and then it got me a little record deal and now I'm playing the blue bird and going to Netherlands next month. But I was a I was a preacher for nine years and I sucked at it. And I've been in the military for ten years now. I'm still a reservist and I suck at that. That's the only thing I've ever been good at. But I wrote this song when I was on the other side of the world. And it's called the Undisclosed Location in Southwest Asia Killing Floor Blues. And it's about the horrible moral and spiritual consequences of participating in war. I hope you like it. I think about my babies 
when I left, they were crying. Thank you, John.